Today I want to talk a little bit about resumes. Resumes is arguably the most important document in your career search process. It's usually the first impression that an employer or someone looking to give an opportunity has of you. So you want to make sure it stands out. A few things you want to understand nowadays. In 2016, we have very short attention spans. I mean, when I graduated college in 2008, blogging was big. And then microblogging became a thing, right? Twitter, 140 characters. And then uh, Instagram came out. People don't even want to read anymore, uh, let alone even if it's a microblog of 140 characters. Now it's Snapchat. So then people don't even want to look at pictures. They want to look at videos. The idea is that uh, technology has made it where our attention span is a lot shorter now. So the same thing goes for recruiters. They have on average 200, excuse me, 200 resumes to review for any one position. I was talking to a friend at Ford. Uh, and she's in the HR, and she said there's 10,000 people who apply to some positions. 10,000. How do you sort through those resumes? The idea is that you want to stand out. Your resume is a marketing document, not a detailed account of your work history. So it needs to be appealing. It needs to be organized. One mistake that I see people make is that they feel like it needs to be a detailed account of their work history, and it shouldn't. Uh, it should Instead, it should highlight your results, provide a snapshot of your accomplishments, and simply show that you add value. How do you add value to an organization? Typically, you add value how you make money, how you save a company money, how you save them time. So regardless, they're a nonprofit, educational institution, for-profit, everyone, an employer, is only going to pay you a salary if you can add value to them. Uh, so how do you add value? You want to make sure that your resume is results-oriented as opposed to duties-focused. I don't care what your responsibilities are. Tell me, what, tell me about the results you were able to produce and how you were able to produce them. If you showcase your transferable skills on your resume, then people will be more willing to look at your cover letter and also your LinkedIn profile. So the first step is understanding that it's a marketing document that displays your value and it should reflect truly who you are and what you can bring to an organization.